Hello. Welcome to our new life. So if you're seeing this, then you probably get my email. If you haven't got my email, I'm also going to make a big text string. So a little group chat. So you're welcome for one more group chat in your life. And we're just going to make this up as we go. Today's going to be a little um, cut and paste because I'm figuring this all out. So on the email, you should have notes for today, which will be Fanny Mendelssohn and Josefina Long. There should be PDFs of three, three songs. There's a really big group of leader from Fanny Mendelssohn, but we're only doing the first song. Another one, Sein Zucht nach Italian, and um, Erin Rong, and that's Josefina Long. You should also get IPA, IPA charts. For the non-singers in the room, I don't actually know if like the singers in the room in the room use IPA charts. IPA is the International Phonetic Alphabet. This is how like singers learn languages. And so the first line is the text, and the second line is the IPA. So that's like the standard symbols that we learn to speak in the languages. And then you have the word for word translation, and then the fourth line down is the poetic translation just so you can see the translations. And you also have an article called The Suppression of Fanny Mendelssohn. Let's see, I should have shared it. I'm gonna be sharing this with you. You have to read this article. Yes, there it is. The Suppression of Fanny Mendelssohn. Rethinking Feminist Biography by Marian Wilson Kimber. You need to read this as well. So, because the opera got canceled, cheers. Um, we have another week in our stuff. So I was able to put some of the stuff that got cut, which includes women, which is what we're going to do today. All right. So let's see. So we're doing the Mendelssohn's actually, this is going to be Fanny Mendelssohn and Josefina Long today. And then Wednesday's class is going to be Felix Mendelssohn. And then next week's class is going to be Wolf. And then we'll have another week or day, we'll have a day of Berlioz and Pauline Viardot, and then we will have a test. Now your test. So I can't make you listen, but I can make you read now. So um, your test this is really important. There's no listening section in the test because I don't know how to do that. Maybe as this goes on, I will be really good at figuring out how to do that. But right now I don't. So there's no listening section, which means you have to do all of the essays. And it's obviously open book. So it's all four essays that are on the study guide and they need to be 500 words, 500 words each. So a total of 2,000 words for all four essay questions. And then you will have short answer questions that'll be like 20 points. So 60, no, sorry, 80% of your grade will be essay questions. And then 20% of the grade will be the short answer stuff. Okay, so that should, should clarify that. If there are any questions, you can ask them in what will be the group chat. I'm going to make a group chat on iMessage and then I'm going to make another one on WhatsApp and then we'll see who has what and who answers and then we will vote which one we keep. And I'll also be sending you these emails, but you know, hopefully we check these. And there'll still be extra credit on the test as well too. So you'll have to read. Okay. So we're going to talk about Fanny Mendelssohn. Fanny Mendelssohn and Felix Mendelssohn. You will have these notes in front of you when you're listening. Hopefully find my notes. They're siblings. They weren't married. Fanny is the oldest sister. And then Felix was about five years younger than her. And he's the one everybody knows. So the, Men the Mendelssohn family was really wealthy, like, real wealthy, like money, like I think like uh, Vanderbilt's or Biltmore's, like they might have, they might not have all of that, but they had enough to, you know, just keep a orchestra for Felix whenever he felt like writing. 
yeah, you want to like write for something for orchestra? Sure, we'll just like bring the orchestra in. So they were big to do. This is also when Napoleon was coming in and they are Jewish, the Mendelssohn's are Jewish and they had to change their names, Bartol Bartoli, Barholdi, Bartoldi. I can't say that. But if you ever see that name attached to them, that was because they changed their names because they're Jewish and then there's like anti-Semitism going on. This is like a hundred years before the world like starts really blowing up over it, but it's still, it's still there brewing because it doesn't come from in like nowhere. Right, so they moved to Berlin and then we have Fanny. So the Mendelssohn's have all the resources that they need and they give their children, Fanny and Felix, all the education they could desire all the education, all the musical experience, anything they wanted, an orchestra, sure. So, let's see. Things get dicey. Like, the way that Fanny is portrayed in a lot of literature is not necessarily maybe accurate, which is a huge thing that the article that I sent to you is about. So even in, let's see. Even in the Kimball, and you know, like the more I read Kimball, the more I have issues with Kimball. But Guno wrote, Guno Charles Guno, the composer, he wrote about he wrote about Fanny that um, she was a first-rate musician, very clever pianist, physically small and delicate, but her deep eyes and eager glance betrayed an active mind and endless and restless energy. She had rare powers of composition and many of the songs without words published among the works and under her brother's name were hers. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of things that say that Felix didn't support his sister or a lot of quotes from her father, which is also in the Kimball saying that, you know, you can do music, but it's more of an ornament to who you are. And it's not the root of who you are because you are a woman. But the things that apply to a lot of the female musicians of the day do not necessarily apply to Fanny because of her social class. This has a lot to do with things. So when we dealt with Clara, Clara wasn't rolling in dough. She wasn't top of the social class. She was just an amazing musician. But Fanny also had like societal pressures on there that a woman does not need to work, especially a woman of a certain social class does not need to work. And also she didn't have to work. She worked, she did music, but like she didn't have to. She wasn't in a Strazzi position where she was trying to keep her family afloat and like all on like the works of her composition, her family was going to be fine. So you keep that in mind when we're dealing with Fanny. She wrote a bunch. She wrote something like 500 compositions, 300 liter, and, and, and you know, and it's good. And she also had kids. She died really young. She was 41. She died of a stroke and she had like a lot of weak health. So she wasn't like super fit all the time. So we're gonna see, what do we have? Oh, okay. So then there's a lot of things you're gonna write and you're gonna read. And Kimball writes about how Felix was, discouraged her from publishing. And this is where a lot of the emphasis that he didn't support her comes from because of letters that Fanny's son published about his mother where Felix Mendelssohn encourages her to not publish. And then also Felix did very often publish her works under his name. So there's, it looks shady. It looks real shady. But Felix wasn't really shady. 